Creating procedural stone wall patterns like this one that have a lot of variation in shape is actually quite hard, but they have a really easy way of doing this in a small system that is going to allow you to pull up your level on stone walls. Now to make our procedural pattern, we're going to get one core node and that's the tile random. In this tile random, we're going to set the, the X and Y amount to 8 by 15. From there, we're going to choose the shape square and we're going to lower the threshold to 0 and set our random size in X and Y to 0 0.5. From here, we're going to, we're going to set our main shape to 1 so all shapes will, will touch with each other. Now, from here, you're going to set your offset to 0 0.5 and your offset random to 0 0.78. Now the secret with this pattern is that you set your color random to 0 0.5. This is going to allow you later to have a better map to actually blend with your cycle tile random. Your cycle tile random will have exactly the same parameters but with one change and that change is going to be the X and Y amount. In this case it's going to be a 12 by 19. Now we have two maps but how can we blend them and make it procedural? In order to make this happen you're going to create a square shape and you're going to lower the scale on Y to 0 0.3, actually. Once you have changed your scale to 0 0.3, you're going to get a transformation to the node and you're going to push the shape downwards. Now, you don't want to change the tiling mode because that's going to be the secret to our material. You can choose to invert the mask as I did or not, but now, if you use this into an opacity mask with a blend set to copy and you connect both maps, you can go back to your square shape and you can start playing with your Y value and you're going to start to see that the blending between these two patterns is going to keep up and you can go from bigger size of stones to smaller size. If you want to know how we went from this procedural map to this amazing 3D pattern wall, let me know in the comments and I'll show you the breakdown of this part of the material.